Hello everyone, I am Richest Guy in ESO and today I want to show you the basics of how the trading system works in The Elder Scrolls Online and how to make gold in this game. So instead of an auction hall as you might know from other games, there are several hundreds of uh, guild traders around the world. You'll find most of them in bigger cities like Balkirch in Kraglon, where I'm standing at the moment. And here you can buy items you need. The symbol on the map is a pair of scales. And trading guilds are able to place up to 10 blind bids on different guild traders. And if the, they are the highest bidder on one guild trader, they will hire it for a week. If they didn't win uh, another higher bid in the same week on another guild trader. The trading guilds meanwhile finance themselves with a 3.5% guild cut on all sold items within the guild. Uh, as well as donations from members and the guild owner's money. And overall taxes via selling over guild traders are the 3.5% guild cut, um, plus another 3.5% which is taken away by the game, and a 1% listing fee which you get back uh, if the item you listed actually sells. And the bid prices for guild traders vary a lot um, between the different zones and guild trader locations, as there are more or less player buying items in different zones. Here's a list of uh, how good guild traders in different zones and cities perform on the PCEU server. And as you can see, the highest sales volume of guilds is done in Vivek front row traders, followed by Kraglon front row, Moonhold and Vivek back row traders. Next are Kraglon back row, the first trader in Varus named Atten, and uh, Aldenrud. An underestimated location still is Ledgerwin in Blackwood, followed by cities like Solitude, Rimen, Alinor and Varist. Rorka, Windhelm and Daggerfall are cities where you can still sell quite well, while in other locations um, below usually res uh, result in a lot less costumes and a lot less sales. So an important decision for you to uh, make gold is to choose a stable trading guild with the right trader. As the higher tier trade guilds uh, have higher costs for the weekly bids in top tier locations, they usually as well have higher weekly requirements. So as beginner player you might not need to start off in a guild uh, in a trade guild in S location. So now you know the basic trading how the basic trading system works in ESO, but the question remains where to gain worthwhile items to sell. There are plenty of ways to gain gold in ESO. I'll give you a short overview of the three most important ways now. First off, doing daily crafting rits is one of the most common and easiest way to gain a steady income. Basically, you spend around 2-3 to three minutes to do 7 crafting quests of all crafting professions in-game. You'll be rewarded with over 5000 gold with CPs and ESO Plus simply by doing the quests as well as golden upgrade materials like Droywax, Master Rits and Crafting Service, making you easily 30,000 gold or more on average. And the best is that you can do it daily on all your characters, which results in 500,000 gold or more if you have all 18 characters ready for them. The second way to gain gold is via farming. Farming means that you repetitively try to gain items to sell them. There are loads of different options on what you can farm to turn into gold. Crafting materials like ores, silk or similar, overland gear from treasure chests or bosses, motifs, for example from DLC dungeons or daily quests in DLC zones, blueprints from special locations, alliance points and telver stones from Cyrodiil and Imperial City, and even more ways. The good thing is that depending on how far you are in the game and how skilled you are with certain contents, you can decide on your own if you rather want a steady, calm income source like farming ores, or more troublesome and skill-based options like DLC motif or Talva stones farming. The last option of how to make gold is flipping items. This means that you either buy items from other players cheap and resell them for a higher price, or you buy materials which you can use to make more valuable items to resell again. This method is uh, in theory really easy to understand, but in practice it's tough uh, to do as you need to have a lot of information about the in-game economy to make the right decision, otherwise you might end up buying something which looks like a cheap deal but results in a loss uh, in the end. As well, you kind of 
need to have the money to actually being able to buy a thing, uh, things to resell them again. Without the starter money, this way of gaining gold won't work for you. So this is all for a first wrap up. If you are in need of a trading guild, the Independent Trading Team Alliance, which I am part of, is offering several really great trading guilds with different trader locations from beginner friendly to uh, high end trading. As well, we do have an awesome community with uh, almost 2000 people on our Discord and you can find the link to our Discord below. Next I am planning on doing more detailed videos regarding the three ways of gaining gold, one each regarding crafting roots, farming and flipping. So check them out once they are there. And if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to comment below or contact me in game.